hello, Roman. Thank you for joining me today to talk about trialing ISO 2012-1 at this uh, this stage that it is asked. Before I ask you some questions, would you like to just introduce yourself and your job role and your role with ISO 2012-1? Thank you, Anna. Thank you for welcoming uh, me for this um, important exercise. Uh, I am Roman Ribou, as I, I, acting as the corner of the um, working group uh, within the revision of uh, ISO 2021. Um, and um, I'm really happy to be at this stage because it's uh, one of, I think, the most important stage uh, on the revision process. Um, otherwise, I'm working for Paris 2024 as a a PMO within the impact and legacy team, and I'm also a farmer um, Paralympic athlete, so happy to work on the sustainable um, topics because it's really important for when you came from the mountains, you can see the, all the changes, so yeah, I'm happy to act on, on that. And you mentioned there that we're at a really important stage in the, the standard and, and we are because the first uh, working group meetings have taken place and the comments have been reviewed. And we're now at the stage where we have a second version of ISO 2012-1. And part of this, um, our goal is that people will try that version. They'll trial it, they'll start to use it. Why is it important to you as chair of the working group that people do trial the standard now? I would say that this trail exercise is really important just to continue the collective momentum that we start with the working group. So it means that is an uh, adventure of uh, um, having a new standard, a more ambitious standard. Uh, it's something that must be collective and we work collectively to create uh, the first proposal that you, that you will read. And we would like to continue in this spirit. Um, so it is important for you, if you don't have the chance, um, if you are also the chance to be uh, involved in the working group, but in any case, to be uh, able to um, take your part uh, on this work and um, uh, to, uh, to to provide also your, your, your feedback as, as an expert and be in the position as a structure would, would like to use the standard. So it, it is really important. Uh, to uh, have this, this period when we uh, are going in the, in the trade session. Yeah, you make some good points there. So using the standard is, is really important to be able to give those comments and feedback. And then also the fact that you've had a lot of feedback from different national standards bodies, different liaison bodies so far. So the way the standard is created is with people's feedback. So the, the aim is people will trial and then give their comments. Um, when we talk about trialing the standard, is it a requirement that everybody trials the entire standard? I would say that it, it should be better. Um, I would say yes, because uh, you will have an, a global vision of the, the, the standard. Uh, there is some, um, some paragraph uh, replies to one to the other. So if you, if you would like to be, let's say, efficient in, in this exercise, it's better to, um, uh, to, to trail the old standard. Um, if you don't have, for, I don't know, any reason you, you would like only to focus on, on that, we, we cannot oppose that, uh, be opposite on, on that. But ideally, I would say that it is better to have the, 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 the global uh, uh, vision of the standard. And as I said previously, having this global vision with the spirit, with the, the mindset that, okay, I am part of, uh, of a structure, small or large, that would like to use the standard. And it is really important to um, have this, this, this mindset and review the whole standard to have global view on, on it and then make a, a good trail exercise. And you mentioned a few important things there. One, that this standard can be trialed whether you're a small company or whether you're a, a large company, whether it's a small event or a big event. It might be easier to trial it for a very small event um, because a big event sometimes takes years of preparation. Um, but also you made a good comment about paragraphs referring to each other. So for example, the identifying issues stage of the standard, where you take time to understand what is material for your situation. If you just trial that and then nothing else, you might not see the impact of 
getting objectives, getting roles and responsibilities, and then reaching continual improvement. So I think that was a, a really good point to make there, Roman. Um, is it okay to trial this on a very small event? Of course, it is definitely okay to, uh, to trial this, uh, this standard for small events. Um, it was really the, um, let's say the, the spirit in way that we build this first version within the working group. We um, have representative for, for every kind of, uh, of events, small and large. It's not because I am part of Pi 24, 2024 that we would like to have a, a standard that is representing the, the only the large international event. We are really um, aware about being, having something which is um, really fit will fit sorry to the um, uh, to the objective and to the um, uh, the challenges of a uh, small event and to the let's say to the entire um, event sector at the end because for example a small a rather than a big event cannot live with uh, um, with the small um, and medium suppliers for example so we have to, uh, to we consider the 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 whole um, let's say supply chain uh, the whole sector from the small to the, to the large events and we would like to continue in this period with the with the trail uh, session. So, if you are a small uh, event or small structure, you are definitely welcome uh, for this trail uh, session. Great. And do you have any advice for people who are new to the standard and want to trial it? You've just spent some time with the working group, uh, making revisions to the standard. You're very familiar with it. So what would your advice be to people who are just getting involved now? My advice for the for the people in the structure who are just getting involved right now, it's bring with you fresh A's. It is really important for us, you know, to have um, um, structure who are not really familiar with the, with the standard, but have some concrete field challenges to, uh, to tackle. And um, it is really important for us to get your opinion get your advice so keep your fresh eyes don't worry about the all the let's say the iso um, processes and so on uh, bring only what you have and what you can see on the field that could be interesting for the standard and i'm sure that it would bring a lot of value to our work that's fantastic and we have other resources to help you when you have trialed it to be able to fill in the comments, which then Roman and the whole working group will review at the next stage, and also the opportunity to create case studies from your trial. So the final question for you today, Roman, is will you be trialing the standard? Of course. Of course, I, I, I will I will trial again the standard, even if we try from the beginning. So. Um, as I said previously, I'm not sure now my A's are quite fresh for that because we did we did the exercise a uh, few times for the first proposal and then for the comments uh, within the working group. But I will still um, uh, take time to, to trail um, um, maybe in um, in few days and, and week uh, to have refresh my mind and and also trail that with my colleague of uh, Paris 2024 who was not let's say, directly involved um, in this uh, in this working group. So yes, clearly I will do again the exercise with um, a lot of pleasure. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your hard work chairing the working group and for your help today, encouraging everyone to trial ISO 2012-1. Bye-bye. Bye, Fiona.